The producers of Top Gear are reportedly seeking for other employment and pondering legal action for lost wages in the wake of allegations that the program may be cancelled after 46 years due to Andrew Freddy Flintoff's horrifying crash. The former England cricket captain, who had severe face injuries and many broken ribs when his open-topped, three-wheel, 130 miles per hour Morgan Super 3 car overturned on December 13 of last year, said he was lucky to be alive. The Ashes hero had a agonizing 45 minute delay for an air ambulance, the BBC eventually apologized to him. Since Flintoff's crash, the corporation has been under intense scrutiny, particularly after it was discovered that the father of four had discussed safety issues with the Top Gear crew the day before the stunt. However, Insiders have told The Sun that after over 10 months, production employees have been instructed to look for new employment, which is likely to mean the end of the beloved car show, which debuted in 1977 with Angela Rapon as host. A BBC representative told Mail Online in reaction to rumors that the program had already been cancelled, a decision on the timing of future Top Gear shows will be made in due course with BBC content. Top Gear was resurrected in 2002 under the leadership of Jeremy Clarkson, who co-hosted the program with James May and Richard Hammond after it was previously cancelled in 2001. However, the well-liked trio quit the show in 2015 when Clarkson attacked a BBC producer and dragged the program into a firestorm of scandal. Up until the accident, Flintoff, Chris Harris, and Patty McGuinness were presenting the show after Chris Evans, Matt LeBlanc, Sabine Schmitz, Eddie Jordan, and Rory Reed came and departed. Since the 34th series of Top Gear's filming was cancelled due to the program's test track's nearly catastrophic collision at Dunsfold Aerodrome in Surrey, the show has been on hiatus. The co-hosts of Flintoff's show have not yet discussed the collision. The Sun quoted a source from the program as saying, Top Gear has been a fixture on British television, but there is no way it can continue after Freddy's crash. The BBC is aware that when recording a program, they very nearly lost a presenter's life, and it seems bad taste to keep producing such hazardous content. It's a difficult choice, but they are aware that it is the right one since die-hard fans of the show won't want to see a light-hearted version. It is said that the delay of a decision by 10 months has irritated the production team. It is stated that at least one employee intends to file a lawsuit against the corporation for wage loss. Following former hosts Richard Hammond, who was left in a coma after losing control of a jet-powered racer in 2006, and Patty McGuinness, who narrowly escaped death after crashing a Lamborghini in the Yorkshire Dales in 2020, Flintoff was the most recent host to sustain serious injuries while filming Top Gear. In 2008, Clarkson allegedly dislocated his head from his spine, in addition to suffering an ankle injury. Flintoff was also engaged in a minor 2019 mishap that happened during production, but he managed to get off a three-wheeled motorcycle without getting hurt. During Clarkson's tenure, the BBC was also accused of homophobia, xenophobia, and racism. After a pejorative phrase was used in an episode with a Myanmar, previously Burma, setting, Ofcom stepped in to stop it. While filming in Argentina, there was also an apparent reference to the Falklands War, for which the BBC refused to offer an apology. It led to a small amount of diplomatic indecency. Flintoff had returned to the public glare when he joined the England team as a coach over the summer, despite the fact that the future of the program is still up in the air. He had sustained facial injuries, which were still evident on his face, but they had begun to heal. After keeping quiet about the crash for a long time, Flintoff recently spoke in public for the first time, describing the most recent few months as the hardest of his life. The ECB released a video earlier this week of the former England captain addressing rookie Tom Hartley in an emotional statement before England's ODI match against Ireland. Flintoff has been spending time with the England white ball team this summer while he recovers from the high-speed collision. It gives me such joy to share what's going to be a day, Tom, that you're going to remember for the rest of your life, Flintoff said as he gave Hartley his maiden England cap. You've had a different trip than most folks. No academies or systems existed, but to me, that reflects a steeliness, a resolve, and a fire that may not be visible on the outside but is unquestionably blazing inside. When you get this cap, your life changes. 
one of those things that comes before and after another. You may walk tall and move more quickly because of this. Play with enthusiasm, pride, and conviction. And a member of a group of people's family. They'll tell you about their victories and happy times. But as I've learned over the past several months, they'll be there for you and will stand by you through the toughest periods in your life. So, like the lion on your cap, Tom, be valiant, fearless, proud, and joyful at all times. It gives me great pleasure to hand Tom Hartley cap number 272. Flintoff, one of the greatest all-rounders in English history and the hero of England's Ashes victory in 2005, played 141 ODIs until retiring in 2009 after England won the urn. The return of his former teammate was welcomed by the players, according to Paul Collingwood, England's assistant test coach, it's important for him and great to have him around. Following the tragedy, Flintoff left Top Gear, and numerous employees who saw the event signed off sick for an extended period of time due to post-traumatic stress disorder. Following Flintoff's accident, his wife Rachel reportedly begged him to take time off of work. According to his son, the father of four was lucky to be alive when his open-topped, three-wheel Morgan Super 3 overturned in sub-freezing weather. Filming on the series was put on hold while Flintoff recovered from his injuries and as authorities looked into the matter. There were rumors that Flintoff was delaying his TV career. Freddie has been gravely damaged by the incident both emotionally and physically, an insider told the Times in March. He considers himself to be a daredevil since that is what he does, and he doesn't think he can continue to play that role on the show. According to reports, Flintoff made the decision to leave the show before the BBC announced in March that it was stopping production on the upcoming series, which was scheduled to air in the fall. The former England cricket star's gruesome injuries and high-speed crash, according to the Mail on Sunday, had a significant effect on witnesses and kept them from going back to work. Numerous staff members reportedly attended the crash at the Top Gear test track at Dunsfold Park Aerodrome in December of last year, according to sources. According to one, the scenes were appalling and something you would really want to forget. For some folks, the thought of doing that kind of labor again is simply overwhelming. Everyone involved in the crash has had a very difficult time. Some people are still having trouble, so they were given work absences. Although it is unknown if any other members of the production team have, Flintoff has not yet filed any legal claims. Corey, his 16-year-old son, told Mail Online after the event that his father was well. He is fortunate to be alive, albeit I'm not entirely sure what happened.